So here we are driving down to the Trock House, which is built by one of our ancestors. You can see it just on the other side of this lawnmower on the right. And it's just out here in the country. Nothing going on here. But there it is. That's the house built by Rudolf Trock, one of our ancestors. I'm standing here at the Trock Hunsaker house here on Belmont Pike near Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And according to a 1987 house and garden tour, this house was built in 1795 by Rudolf Trock, a Pennsylvania German potter. Rudolf Trock is an ancestor of ours. His daughter, Hannah, was married to Jacob Shoemaker. According to the information, the house is a two and a half story field stone in Georgian style, a five bay facade, fan light over door, gable roof with slate shingles. The house includes is included in the Pennsylvania Inventory of Historic Places in 1880, 1980. Besides the house, the property has a bank barn. Here's the barn. The barn has a stone foundation and plank sidings over a pegged frame. The property was purchased by Hunsakers in 1968. Renovations to the house and barn in 1972. Pool and patio in 75. And one story addition in 1982. So you can see on the barn here, they put an H there. It looks like an old H. And you can see some hex signs here from Pennsylvania Dutch. And there's an H on the Hunsaker. And there's looks like the addition on the back of the house. And you can see where the pool is there uh, behind the house. So there you can see uh, the front of the house from kind of inside the property here. And the slate roof. And you can see the stones that it's made of. So here's another view of the Trock Hunsaker house. This is from the street. It actually, the side sort of faces the street. Um, and you can see we're just on a country road here. And it's just middle, across the street here, there's just fields. Um, and down the way, you can see some more homes down there. So you can see this, there's this neat little side door. There's this small little side door here that probably leads into some an extra room or an alternative way to get into the house. And then there's a gate here with this little path that goes up to the front of the house. So this is the Trock Hunsaker house. Trock house built by our ancestors. And you can see this looks like an add-on porch that they put on that's got nothing to do. And in my previous video, I mentioned uh, the pool. So there's the pool, and you can see there's corn out there. This is just out in the country here. Um, and here's, I don't know sure how far their property goes back, but you can see what's going on here. Winter Tour Pennsylvania Folk Art Room in the Winter Tour Museum in uh, Delaware. And this was a plate platter made by our ancestor, Rudolf Drach, sometimes known as Trach. And this plate, you can see, is dated 1798. And it's got, this is actually a commemorative type plate. It's got a little verse in it that talks about um, the man's wife and how it is important to each other to do certain things. And uh, this is a scrofito process. And that has to do with putting down colors and then uh, wiping them off. And it's kind of a complicated thing for me to display, but to talk about. But, but here we are on the 22nd of June, 2021, in the house looking at something um, our ancestor made um, back just after the Revolutionary War before the War of 1812, and this was up, his house was up in 
near Sailorsville, um, and uh, he had a house there as well as a barn and a farm, and also did some uh, uh, like keeping an inn a little bit up there as well. So we're grateful to the museum for allowing us to come see this in person uh, and visit and kind of get a personal guided tour uh, to see these items. Okay, again at the Winterhur Museum, we have another plate by Rudolf Troch, Rudolf Drach. It looks like this plate is named for Luciana, who we don't know who that is. And this is another plate that would be part of the commemorative type collection or style. Um, there's a couple others here. There's one down here that shows George Washington, and there's another plate down here that shows maybe George Washington or Paul Revere or someone, hard to tell. Um, and so you can see that uh, this is very uh, ornate. These are mostly used for decorative things or maybe for special events, possibly. And this uh, potter would have been Grandma Ruth, two times great grandfather. Um, and, and his grandfather came over on the thistle about 1730. This has an 1826 date. Am I right on that? 1826 date. And you can see there's a, a cardinal, I think, a red, red cardinal there. And there's some other birds as well. So, and some flowery uh, borders on it. So we're appreciative once again to the museum for allowing us to come in here and, and see these and do a little uh, video shoot of this.